Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I don't know how I'm gonna maneuver through this conversation, but I just really wanted to talk to you guys about life and why we're here and storms that you may go through and there's a reason for everything that you do go through. So I was just watching a, no, excuse me if I'm really emotional because this was a really hard time in my life. So I was watching um, a video by My Life is Ava and it was just super random and just like came across my recommended. So I just started watching it and she was talking about um, the show 13 Reasons Why and how she connected to that um, that show. I watched that show myself and talks about suicide, sexual assault, um, bullying and just like all these problems that like everyday uh, people go through and even people who aren't just like, regular people go through and it just really took me back because she was talking about how back in high school she contemplated suicide and she's just thankful for being here now and she was just I don't know guys she's just talking about like today you know she lives by herself she has a cat a couch and a cat and like all these like simple things that like no one really thinks about but I think it's the fact that like from where she went and then to the place where she got to and and that journey and that really took me back to about like three years ago it was 2000 I think three two years ago 2014 15 ish I was living in Kansas um, I was living in an apartment that I could barely afford to have the time my parents had to help me pay my rent I was working sometimes two jobs um, I was not happy I didn't feel like I had close friends I kind of isolated myself I was just struggling and it just got to one point where like it was like fall December around there well, like fall winter ish I can't remember and I just remember I don't know what it was but it like really triggered like the worst depression ever like I I'm telling you and I think I was working at a call center at that time um, I was with 1-800 Medicare you know every day you're talking to people who <clears throat> don't have enough money who um, can't afford to go to the doctors or get medicine and they have legs and arms that are amputated and they can't breathe well and like every day you're just getting phone calls about just such sad things and and I'll go home and be like I'm so thankful because I'm healthy I don't have to worry about not having an arm not having a leg not having family sometimes you were told stories about how they're the only ones their significant other died and they're just kind of ready to go you know and one day I just remember something just triggered and my mind just completely shifted and it was the most craziest thing that I never thought I would experience I just remember waking up and I just felt so gosh I don't know how to call it, explain it I was so overwhelmed I felt like I couldn't breathe and you know I had to go to work so <clears throat> this other girl who lived in the same apartments as me she and I worked at the call center together and she didn't have a car so I would take her and I just remember going to work it was still dark outside and I just walked in and just fell on the wall and just started crying and I was just like I just want to go home I can't feel like I can't breathe I can't think and I remember going home that morning they sent me home gave me like a week off or three days I don't remember and I just got in my car and started crying I was crying 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 I just felt so like worthless so lost I didn't know I didn't know where life was going because I was so used to having Oh, at that time I really don't know but I just knew I wasn't where I was supposed to be I wasn't I wasn't happy I wasn't I just felt like I was just working and working and working and working and nothing was working out like 
I lost so much of myself that year that even today the happy girl I am today, the happy person I am today is still not the person I used to be and sometimes I miss that person so much because I used to laugh so much more. I used to just be so full of life and some days I just still wake up and just like, oh, where is that girl? But I remember just driving home that morning and I was just crying and crying and crying and like, I didn't know what was wrong. I just, just sad. And I remember just going back to bed and not feeling like I could tell anyone what was going on because I couldn't understand what was going on. And And just going back to sleep because it's all I could do. Let's go back to sleep. And the next day, I'm telling you my mind shifted. All I could just, my, these were my exact thoughts. Like, I was, I think I was really hungry and I wanted to go get food from Taco Bell. Taco Bell's like less than five minutes away. And I was so scared to go in the car because I was like, what if I go in the car and I get a car accident and I die? What am I what are my parents gonna think? <laughs> and I just just everything just started scaring me. Like I'm telling you, it sounds crazy crazy to talk about right now, but everything scared me. I was scared to leave my house. I didn't want it. <laughs> I didn't want to call my parents. I think I tried to call my dad one time and I couldn't talk to him because I just felt like I don't want to hurt him. I don't want my dad to worry about me. I didn't want him to, I didn't want to give him another thing to stress out about. And so I kept it to myself. I was so scared. I was so, I was so scared. I didn't want to talk to my friends. It was, people would call me and I would literally just let my phone ring because I was so scared to get so close to anyone because I'm like, how would I react if that person I'm close to dies? What am I gonna do? Am I gonna live or am I gonna take my life because they're not here? And nothing is worse than honestly just isolating myself and thinking that like nobody is there, like life is not worth living. And I just remember like seeing my friends because I didn't live in the same state as them anymore. And I see them on Snapchat and they were just so happy and with each other and smiling and my thoughts were <coughs> Why are they so happy? I mean <coughs> We're just gonna die. I don't know what they're smiling about. We're all gonna die and we're all here alone and this world, this world is so, <clears throat> so sad and there's no point in being happy. There's no point in being close to anyone because <clears throat> <clears throat> we're all just gonna die anyways. And at that that time, like, I was going through so much, so many other things that just made it worse. And I just remember, like, I would just be in bed, like, <laughs> Of course you have to make money to pay your rent to eat, but I'm so depressed that I just couldn't do it. Like I just could not do it. And I just remember like even trying to get counseling and it just felt like what's the point? What's the point of waking up? And then instead of thinking like just with think about my family I'm like what if this person passes away what if this person passes away what am I gonna do I can't see life without this person and the, that depression just really 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 scared me and it might do like I don't even know what it was that triggered it it could have been my job and just listening to those people's lives and not but it just it just took me to a place where it's like I, I really couldn't tell anyone and I think I remember Every time I would tell someone I'm depressed, they're just like it's gonna be okay and when you're 
and that's in mind like it doesn't feel like it's okay it doesn't feel like it's gonna end it doesn't feel like anyone cares it doesn't feel like shit like you just feel like you're so alone no one gets it everyone's just moving about their lives and it's like why doesn't he even care that I'm struggling like I'm crying every morning I barely get out of bed like I, I wouldn't even shower some days and I would just wake up go back to sleep wake up go back to sleep because I was so scared of this life and I just couldn't do it and one time one day I just remember calling my friend and she lived in Nebraska which is where I live now and I would just talk to her I'm like you know I wish you were here I miss I miss living next door to you because I knew when something was wrong I could just run home and run over to your house and just talk and she talked to me she talked to me she talked to me and we talked for like three hours and she just kind of gave me some encouragement and like a little past that I was like I think I just need to move so I gave it a few months she told me just come move with me and <clears throat> I moved in with her and my cousin last year and it wasn't like the depression stopped it didn't stop it got <laughs> it was bad and I was just drinking excessively I was not being myself I was I was gaining so much weight I was I, I was just I was just destroying myself and I moved and I lived on their couch for eight months you guys eight months and I'm so thankful for my best friend because she without her even like allowing me to come live with her knowing that I was just going through so much and she just said just come just pack your stuff and come she didn't question it she didn't even say you know like suck it up you got this she's literally i consider her my sister because she she's a part of the reason why i'm here and even when i caught here she it didn't get better i was still scared like i would remember like i would just be in the house all day she'd go to work and come back and i'm still in the house and she's like come on let's go outside my anxiety was so bad i was scared of going outside i'm like what if something happens to me outside and uh, she didn't give up on me she'd be like come on <laughs> she really felt she could see that i was anxious she'd let me just stay home and then someday she'd be like you know what let's go you need to go outside and i would go because i would trust her and i wasn't really doing much i got enrolled in school and uh, kind of took my mind off of some things but i was still scared I was, I was still scared to drive i was still scared to just be outside once the sun went down i was scared of the night i hated when the like when the sun went down my mood just changed like it was just so lonely and once again nobody knew what it was nobody knew any of it and I was trying to work and move out and like live in my own apartment and I'm like how am I even supposed to live in my own apartment I don't I've never done that I've never <clears throat> I was living in my old apartment in Kansas I had roommates so I wasn't alone I'm telling you like these past two years have been the most challenging years of my life and there are not many people I could say really thought that I was struggling I just thought like oh this is this is just who she is and moving forward to now like I remember she sat me down and she's like what's wrong with you like what is it I know this isn't you I've known you for this many years and you're that girl who's always pushing people you, you don't go at your go-getter and the fact that like I felt like I was just messing up everything in my life. I just felt like I couldn't do anything right. And the one person who was like, this is not you. I know you. Like, you are better than this. You are stronger than this. You are always the one who got me out of things. You, you are so caring. You are so loving. And I don't know what it is right now, but... Like, what's wrong? And even then, I couldn't talk to her because I was just like... All I knew was shrug because at that time I couldn't even answer it because that wasn't me. I was just 
<laughs> she felt so useless. <clears throat> I feel like you couldn't, couldn't do anything, right? <sighs> and she didn't give up on me. <laughs> and everyone just felt like a lot of people were like, you can't, you just can't get your stuff together. You just, they basically gave up, like, they gave up on me. But she didn't. She just kept pushing me and pushing me and pushing me. And I was in school and I finally, my cousin and I got in, like, an argument. And it was to the point where she was, like, she lived with, she lived with us too. So there's three of us. She was just like, you need to move out before you need to start paying bills and I'm like how am I supposed to pay bills when I work at a part-time job that barely pays me anything and I was so stressed out and my best friend's like no you're not paying anything because how are you supposed to save if you can't how are you supposed to save if you have to pay and so I I was just crying I'm like God, what am I gonna do I need to get out of here like and she's not like she kicked me out my cousin and I just like we just don't get along in the same house and I remember I got my financial aid um, <sighs> refund like three weeks later and I started applying applying and applying for apartments <laughs> and the first two apartments one just said I needed to have like a 600 and something credit score that I didn't have the second one was like, you need co-signers. I got co-signers, it wasn't enough. And I was just like, God, what am I supposed to do? I need to get out of here before we just destroy each other. And so I applied for the third apartment. And y'all, I don't even, I didn't even know what this apartment looked like. I didn't even know where it was located. I just knew I had to get out. And I applied for this apartment and they called me back. I think two days after I applied and I didn't have enough money to even put out a deposit I wrote a check that still bounced back you know and all I could afford was my first month's rent I couldn't even pay the deposit I wrote a check for that one and he came back but I still got the apartment you know and when I got my apartment I didn't have anything I had my clothes and and the futon my parents gave me money to buy and that was it I didn't have a TV I didn't have I had my laptop no internet nothing but but I got an apartment and it's honestly the apartment that I'm still living in today I just look back and like now here I am living in my one bedroom apartment with the gray sectional that I've always wanted I'm not struggling I still struggle I mean bills are bills but you guys I, I made it and like I'm telling you two years ago I never thought I'd make it because suicide just death was just on my mind and even this year I still went through it once again I just felt so unloved and so not cared for and it wasn't like anyone was doing it to me it wasn't my parents my parents are the most supportive and loving people ever my siblings are amazing but I'm not making this video to like let you guys be sad for me or feel bad for me I'm just making the video to let you guys know like no matter what it is you're going through, no matter what your mind is telling you, all the negative stuff, like, you can do it. Like, I did it. I'm here. I I work, come home, and I'm thankful. I'm telling you, I'm so thankful. I'm thankful for the people who stood by my side. I'm thankful to be here, and I know, like, I know I have a purpose, because if, why am I, I don't want to cry anymore. I don't have a purpose because if I didn't, I would have let my thoughts take me. I would have just given up. There's so many times where I just felt like I would lay around and I would do nothing. And I'd be home all day from, i home for like three, four days straight and not even leave once, not even go outside once, not even step out once. And now I'm here in a completely, totally crazy different mindset. Like, 
my friends friends who truly care about me and actually call me i have a closer relationship with my parents my siblings um and i just this, i made this video to just let you guys know that like you can make it through whatever it may be like if you just feel unworthy if you feel like no one cares if you are alone and your parents don't talk to you or whatever like somebody cares like i care i'm so i think i'm so sensitive to people because i know what it's like to be alone and feel so alone and feel so worthless and feel like your life has no meaning and it does and you're worth it and i know sometimes like people don't make it easier sometimes there's situations in your life that somebody may not understand and they take that and run with it and just make you feel like you're the worst person in the world make you feel like you deserve nothing you don't like unhappiness you don't deserve <clears throat> anything but you do and i made this video just to remind you like <sighs> stick in there hang in there because i promise you it'll be so worth it it'll be so worth it the person i was two years ago a year ago to so the person i am now is completely different like i have such a different mindset and granted i have days where like i really don't want to get out of bed but i just remember like i'm here like i made it i started off with my clothes and nothing now i have a fully furnished apartment like i worked my butt off i have a tv i have a couch i have a bed all the things that like so many people take for granted but when you're growing up and you want to you want to grow as a person it's so worth it like i'm so thankful sometimes i just sit at home and i'm like gosh i'm so thankful for this little apartment i have i mean it's not like my parents i could have went home you know but i'm challenging myself i know if i went back to my parents house it'd be so comfortable and i wanted to learn i wanted to grow and it's not always easy it's not always easy but just remember it gets easier and if you're someone who may not know what's going on in your friend's life like check on them people would check on me and i just wouldn't even tell the truth i'll just be like i'm okay meanwhile i'm crying tears are coming out of my eyes as i'm on the phone with them and no one ever knew so i just wanted to tell you guys to keep going don't silence yourself tell someone if you're not feeling good be aware of those feelings before they get worse and know that you can make it if i can make it you can make it um i don't know this was just really heavy on my heart because sometimes people think like someone's life is so perfect and they're so happy but it's like people go through things i go through things i went through things and i just want to let you know that i'm here i love you guys um and i'm with you i understand you and it gets easier it really does and now all I can do is just hope for a better future. I pray so much over my family's life and the people that are, are in my life, some people that aren't anymore, and I still pray because I never know what's going on in their hearts. I never know what's going on in their lives. A lot of people never knew what's going on in mine, and look where we're at now. So just be there for each other. Um, I'm here for you. That's all I got to say. See you guys in my next video.